To this episode of Learn Everyday English, your roadway to English proficiency. Glad to have you with me today. I'm out under the carport, which is the area where we park the cars, and behind me is what we call the storage shed, where we store a lot of things. Uh, I use tools and say lawnmowers uh, to do work around the house. So I got another chore today that I got to do. And here where I live, there are a lot of pine trees. And pine trees uh, have a lot of pine needles. Especially this time of year, we say the pine trees drop the pine needles. They fall from the tree. They get on top of the roof, all over the grass. So I need to uh, remove the pine needles that are on the roof of the house. I need to blow them off with this uh, piece of equipment called a blower. We just call it a blower. It uh, has a gas motor and it blows uh, air and I can blow the pine noodles off without having to use a broom. So I'm going to have to get up on top of the roof and to do that I'm going to use this which is called a step ladder. A step ladder. And I'm going to climb on top of these. These are these are steps or rungs of the ladder, rungs of the ladder, and I'm going to use this to climb up on top of the roof. But before I do that, you know there are three things you can do for me is to like the video, subscribe, and three, tell your friends about it so that they can benefit from these videos too. Hey, just like you. You know the spiel, or the story, or my line, when I say that's called the spiel. So, but the first thing I need to do is to uh, make sure I have enough fuel for this blower. And it's, it uses a combination of gas and oil. And I buy it already, say, pre-mixed in these cans. And here's the fuel container right here. It's pretty full already but I'm just going to say top it off. I'm going to top it off. That means I'm just going to fill it up to the top so I don't have to worry about running out of fuel. So I just pour the fuel into the fuel tank. Just put the uh, fuel cap back on and we'll be ready to go. Put this cap back on so nothing spills. And this is a procedure to start this blower. So I have to turn, push this switch to the on position. There's a primer bulb. If you saw the video I did uh, with the weed eater, it's the same principle. I press this bulb until the bulb fills with uh, fuel and it's full. This it has a carburetor in it. I need to flip this lever, push it up for a cold start, and then I need to pull this uh, rope and may take a few pulls and the blower should start. Let me show you how uh, that works. That's how you start the blower. I want to show you one other thing though um, before I or before we go up on the roof. Let's go. And what I wanted to show you is you can see uh, on the front of my car these are pine needles and they just fall from the pine trees and we just have a I'll say a whole bunch of pine trees. The pine needles fall. They say carpet 
carpet the ground as you can see here nothing but pine needles let me show you what the roof looks like the roof is covered in pine needles as well so as you can see here they're uh, all on the roof so I need to go up and blow all the pine needles off the roof because if the pine needles uh, stay on the roof if the pine needles stay on the roof too long it rains and they get wet I think it it deteriorates the roof or it causes the roof to wear the uh, faster than normal because here in the United States uh, the roof has asphalt shingles on them the shingles are rated maybe 15 20 30 years of life but I think if they have these pine needles on top of the asphalt shingles that the roof can deteriorate quicker than than is normal so I need to blow these pine needles off so let's get up on the roof So let's go up on top of the roof, climb up this ladder. So I made it up on top of the roof, as you can see, roofs here for homes in the United States typically have asphalt shingles and uh, they're not, we don't have metal roofs, concrete roofs, or maybe stone or slate roofs. And so I need to blow all these pine needles off the roof, as you can see they're just, uh, the roof is covered with them. I have some lines here that are coming off of the uh, power pole. These lines here, there's two at the bottom, are uh, I think uh, cable lines like uh, cable TV and telephone. Those are okay. The line here at the very top is a the power line coming in to uh, provide electricity to the house. That line, I need to make sure I don't touch that. It's very dangerous. All right, let me, I'm going to start the. Uh, I'm going to start the uh, blower now and uh, start blowing uh, leaves off off the roof. Well, as you can see now, the roof is uh, clean, say clean as a whistle, clean as a whistle, means I've uh, blown off all the pine needles. Since I'm up here, I wanted to show you a few things. Uh, here we have a uh, satellite dish, direct TV, mounted on top of the roof. Also on the roof, we see these kind of tubes or pipes sticking up through the roof. These are, I think, vent pipes that uh, come up from like the bathrooms, the kitchen, where the, you can vent the, uh, the fumes or the gas coming from like the toilet and the sink in the bathroom. They come up through the roof here. 
So you can see these all over the uh, all over the roof. Here we have, I think this is a uh, like a vent to help uh, pull hot air out of the roof, and it comes up through this uh, this device right here. There's an old satellite dish that's still here, but it's not being used. And here is the uh, connection for the electricity that's coming in from the power pole going into the house comes in here. Like I said, this is the uh, power cable, the electricity from the power company. So I'm gonna stay well clear of that or stay away from that. I don't want to touch that because it's dangerous. So here you can see the backyard, the greenhouse right here. And I'm gonna now need to climb down the ladder. And I think our uh, job up here is done. Once we, uh, once I blow the pine needles off the roof, the next job is to uh, sweep or rake up the pine needles that fall onto the ground or fall onto the grass and uh, I think that's what my wife is doing right now uh, picking up the uh, pine needles you can see that they've fallen I blew them off but now they're all in the concrete and we need to uh, clean those up that's our dog uh, Smokey down there black pit bull so let's uh, climb down the ladder. I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to turn the camera off and uh, so I can use two hands to make it as safe as possible. See you down on the ground. Well, I put the ladder and the blower back up in the shed, but now we need to kind of clean up all these pine needles. Let me show you, like, pine needles have uh, gotten all over the, uh, this is the windshield of my uh, Honda, so I gotta try to clean that off. Just gonna sweep these on the ground since the ground is already covered with pine needles anyway. So the pine needles have fallen on the ground. They've fallen on some of the plants here, so I need to just try to uh, remove these pine needles. It's kind of a cleanup effort. These pine needles are kind of, uh, we say they're acidic, acidic. See here, the pine needles have gotten onto this rose bush, but I need to be careful because uh, these roses have thorns on them, thorns. And I can poke myself with the thorns. Well, that's it for this video, this short video of uh, doing a little cleanup on the roof, blowing off the pine needles. Hope you liked that video, um, something different. I think I uh, did a video of this before a while back. I don't think I shot anything up on the roof. I don't remember. It's been a while. So hopefully you, hopefully you enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments. Uh, hey, is this some something you have to do uh, at your house where you live? Do you have pine needles? Or maybe do you have other types of leaves or things that get on top of the roof where you have to uh, occasionally clean the roof? Let me know in the comments below. All right. Um, you know, there's three things you can do for me before you uh, sign off. It's like the video, subscribe to the channel, and three, tell your friends about it. And we'll be bringing you more content I was doing like one video a week, but I've bumped that up, which means I've increased it to like two videos a week. And I've been putting up shorts, so uh, trying to get a little bit more active, more involved for you. 
help your Eng English language uh, learning on your journey. So um, that's it for today. Uh, take it easy wherever you are in this world. And uh, we'll see you later from Learn Everyday English. Hey, we'll talk to you later. Goodbye.